What's up, guys? This is going to be a video of the cutting open ceremony of the rock melon. I got a lot of slack on the social media sites for not cutting open the melon. Uh, not melon, cucumber, but it is technically a melon. It kind of goes from a cucumber and then it metamorphosizes into this giant rock melon thing. It's like two different kinds of fruits at two different stages there's a few around popping out here and there here's one i guess another one popped out you got they don't last long in the cucumber stage just so you know uh yeah you can't eat them when they're small they're just like a regular pickle once they get to this size the seeds are already big enough to they're, they're, you'll see i'm gonna open it up so but this is the conditions of the video if you want to watch the video you have to watch me eat it now because one of the reasons why i didn't want to open it was because i just didn't want to eat the whole thing there's a lot of melon uh, a lot of cucumber to eat this is a big cucumber look at this thing it's like the size of my head here so let's open her up oh look it opened up on its own isn't that convenient this is what it looks like from this side. You can see it has the three lobes on it like this. Let me smell it. Mmm, smells wonderful. That's what it looks like sideways. It's just like a cantaloupe kind of melon in, in the middle. This is a little bit different than like a standard cucumber that would normally do its thing. But I've had these melons where it didn't have this big hollow area in it. So I'm not sure why this was hollow. There were a few times I didn't water it for several days. And these plants, you got to water them like every day, sometimes twice a day, especially when it gets hot out. Thinning of the rind could be a result of me doing that. You can see the hollowness. Normally it's like a regular cucumber. It's solid all the way through, but it hollowed out a little bit. So let's give her a bite. The skins are a little thick on this. You got to kind of be ready to eat this thing. It's a little salty on, on the uh, outside of the rind. Just make sure I'm... Really concentrate on your chewing when you're eating this thing. These skins really do want to stick in your throat. Very smooth flavor. It's not unpleasant in any way. The seeds are, for some reason, this particular cucumber has got a very soury seed system in it. I don't know, can't explain that, I don't know why. Uh, but they're not normally like that. A lot of times you open these up and the seeds are normal seeds. You could, I just core the seeds out of it anyway. I don't normally I'm not going to even eat these seeds. You can see the white rind on it. It's kind of stiff. I'll try to describe the stiffness for you so you get an idea on how coarse it is. Seeds are lemon bitter this year. It must have something to do with the heat that's causing this bitterness in the tomatoes and the, some of the cucumbers. But it's not bitter. I've eaten these things that sat out for months. I haven't gotten to them for months. I've, you know, I've got 30 different melons and vines going i'm not running to this thing right away so i know it could sit out for a while so i sit them out and when i get a chance i, I eat them you know i've had them sit out for a while i ate them down the road they never get bitter on me i've had these things ripen all the way to the point of rotting on the vine just about you know i didn't eat it rotten but just really you know you got to pick it it's that and i've eaten them all the way and they still taste the same they never get bitter just so you know that I've never had a bitter one. The seeds part make it better. This one's seeds are bitter. You just take them out. I like the skins because they're very crunchy. Really, really crunchy. It's like eating a, not a nut, but I don't know. It's just a really hard, crunchy skin. It's not like you got to chew it. Every bite is just, you're snapping it. really tangy the seeds were very very tangy they're not normally that tangy but they were tangy they weren't bitter really tangy almost citrusy like but when i get to this size and you go to eat them i'm not eating the seeds anyway i usually keep the seeds it's a lot to eat i'm just gonna finish this piece i'm done 
it's good, but there's like no, it's very simple in flavor, should I say. It doesn't have a strong cucumber flavor. It doesn't have a strong sweetness or the tartness a little bit. Yeah, because of the seeds. If you sit there and you scrape it out good, you won't get any tartness. You rinse it and do that, it, it won't get any. But it's very neutral in flavor. It's filling. It's very filling. Well, let me finish. For me, I'm really attracted to the skin. Honest, chewing that skin. It's very nice feeling. It crunch, that crunchingness is just a nice, it just feels good. Every crunch crunches every time. It's like a satisfying feeling. I don't know what it is. It's not like chewing on a, an apple skin where you're like, it's like leather. Like some of the skins on those tomatoes you see me chewing, I can't chew them. I got to spin them out because they're so thick. This is like you crunch it up. It's just crunchy, crunch, crunch, crunch. It's good. I'm full. I eat half of that thing. You see, I eat only half. I'm satisfied. I don't need anything more. I'm good. I'm looking at you. Last look. Last look. That was your Seacum Cucumber opening and tasting review. So I hope you guys enjoyed it a little bit. And I hope I answered some questions as to uh, what it tastes like and maybe what it looks like. These melons can get, from what I've read, several pounds. They can get as big as a small, regular-sized watermelon. <laughs> I couldn't imagine eating something like that the size of a small watermelon join me on my other channel which is pepper taster heirloom reviews i will change that name eventually but right now that's what it is uh, you could join me there and i do have a backup channel but i'm not doing anything with that that's just in the event i have a problem with this channel all right so you have a good one and see you on the next one peace